This is Intake, the only show on the internet that brings together cars, chickens, and beers. It's fucking lovely at 7.30 in the morning. On this episode of Intake, we're going to clean the outside of the, the car because it's just been painted. This is a post panel shop clean up. Get rid of all the panel shop dust that was sitting in there for a little while. Take off any swirl marks left over from the buffer and I'll let you have a look at the new front end, which is filthy. Like always, we're not here to fuck spiders, but we are here to clean their cobwebs out of the door. My door jams, my chicken is making a run for it. I've left the gate open. Get! It's like an animal <laughs> house around here. So now that we've put the chicken somewhere else, we're ready to hose down the car. I've forgotten to say that this uh, car cleaning job depends on how dirty your car is, but mine's going to be about a two beer job. Um, maybe, maybe three beers, just because I've nearly finished this one, because we've taken so long to get into it. First thing you got to do is moisten it up. There's something really satisfying about this. Ooh. Water your car in the garden. They're gonna look grow. It just looks so nice and inviting when it's wet. Oh. So one thing that a lot of people miss, especially after their cars just come out of the panel shop, is doing uh, all the crevices that you might find here where there's intercooler pipes, intercoolers, radiators, in the wheel wells where you might find some tape, some overspray, some paint dust. You want to fuck all that off. So really giving that a good clean first before you do the body. So do inside of the crevices first, then make your way to working over the whole body. And um, that way you'll do a really thorough job. So this bucket has a, a divider in the center, one side for your soapy water and one side for your clean water. And it's got these mats in the bottom which catch all your dirt and shit, which is good because you don't want your dirt and shit running around in there making a mess of your cloth. So all we're gonna do is use a little bit of Auto Glam body shampoo in one side of that bucket. Stuff smells really good actually. It smells like um, raspberries. Doesn't taste like raspberries. Where's my beer gone? Could use this in the shower. I'd probably smell better than I do right now. So what we're just gonna do now is fill it up. I don't recommend holding the bucket while you're filling it up. So what we'll do is dip, wash, rinse. Dip, wash, rinse. And just like that, we have our bodywork shampoo and our plain water ready to go. So let's start on the door jams. It's a little bit scary. I've had this car for 12 months now and I've never washed the door jams because I've been waiting for this moment, an episode for you guys. So I didn't hose them down before, obviously, because I didn't want to get water on my um, my Brita A seats. I've already damaged something. Tire placard, well, that's coming off. Good thing it's not the original JDM ones. It's amazing what you find in here as you're washing it. Small amounts of, small trace amounts of rust. Just one little bit, actually. I'll probably have to touch that up so it doesn't get worse. You can lead a chicken to water, but you can't make it drink. It just does that on its own accord. Getting some water inside, you know. I didn't really think about this, but you know what? It's just no different to steam cleaning, surely. Chickens are really the best pets you can have. Don't ask me why. I haven't worked that part out yet. And as always, if you've got access to, just don't forget to do the, the um, back door as well. Give that a good a thorough cleaning out. Back hatch, the hatch. Give the hatch a thorough cleaning out. Job like this can take some time, but it's really satisfying. 
Some jobs are really, really quick and super satisfying. Most of the jobs I do. And the top side is as important as the bottom side because it's got shit all over it. But this one's actually relatively clean because I had it painted like last year when I had all the um, holes in the hatch removed from the spoiler. There's an episode of that which we'll link at the top corner here. Giving a car a good clean like this shows you exactly what's wrong with it. Need a new seal here. There's a piece of cracked plastic over there. After 30 years, you've got to expect that some things are old and busted. I was busted well and truly before 30, but and before I get onto lathering the body, I'll just finishing up doing this uh, passenger side door jam. So when we bought the car, this was all damaged and it was going to rust and whatnot. So they had that repaired and there was a big dent underneath here. So obviously what they've done is repaired that and painted this section of the door jam down to this seam weld because you can see where the paint changes to its, where it's dull from being old. They painted the car um, pretty much just straight off the, the color chart rather than blend the whole thing because we painted the whole outside. So we didn't really need to blend anything. But uh, I wasn't spending thousands of dollars. I don't have heaps of money. So did what we could afford and really, They've done a pretty bang up job. Well, it's getting pretty warm now, so what we're gonna do is get to washing the exterior while it's um, not too hot. But because the sun is out, we're gonna do sort of a couple of panels at a time, rather than, down, rather than soap down the whole thing, and then get the soap drying on there, and then you spray it off, and you're like, oh, it's not even clean. You gotta do it again, and you're just running around in circles, chasing your own chicken. Tail, chasing your own tail. Chase that chicken too many times today. Never ever wash your car with a dirty cloth. You don't want any contaminants. Oh. Ah. Special attention needs to be made when cleaning the headlights on the 300 ZX because they are Lamborghini parts. They deserve the care and attention that an entire Lamborghini might get. And they look fucking awesome. So sporty. So now I'm on to cleaning the new front bar. Yes, it is a year 2000 model front bar. Why did you pick that? Because it's genuineness and I'm not really big on aftermarket parts, but what aftermarket you say? Isn't that an aftermarket lip? Yes, it is. The fitment's terrible. I had to use more mounting screws that I would have had to. It seems like it's too short in the middle, but it's what we've got. I've made it work. I smashed it near immediately after I mounted it because it's so low. At least it's taking the force rather than the front bar. And we can always just unbolt it and bolt another one on. Sorry if you um, suggested that I should have gone another front bar or an aftermarket front bar. I've chosen this one and I think it looks fucking awesome. And this front bar come with new indicators which look cool and they're smoked from factory. And uh, unfortunately I've still got the original spotlights there which we need to fuck off. We wanna get some vents in there if anyone knows where to get some um, really good intake, intake? Ooh. Duct vents. Or maybe you have some that you want to get rid of, or you produce them that you'd like to have to give to me. We can throw them in on camera. This one's trying to fuck itself off already. Uh, it might be a little bit boring just washing the car. It's, it's um, therapeutic. Therapeutic has trumped whatever the other word of the day is. But you guys specifically asked for this. There is a comment, and if I find it, we'll link it below says we don't care if you've got nothing to do I've just spilt my beer on the hose <sighs> no. it's a light beer now mm. yeah. tastes like bud yeah well I'll fuck it right off anyway Okay. Hello. It's a comment from our newest video. It says, fuck it right off. That's Jason Thorne, and he's obviously talking about Operation Sports Wagon. I said in that episode that we um, would consider getting rid of it. I'm taking too long. This is drying. Because I want to get a Micra. I've got some flares. I've got like a Wang. I like do some low downs and whatnot. Stance Micra. But there's a heap of people in the comments wondering why I didn't clean the wheels. Because I've got a plan. We got the new center caps, old center caps. So we get to restore them a second time, sort of. 
So um, we'll put a link to where we painted them first time. It'll be no, it'll be up up in the air up there. There it is. Yeah, that was a bloody good episode. Now I've really got to hurry this up because the sun's starting to come out, dry up all the rain, dry up all the paint. Incy Wincy Spider, wrong song. Been piss farting around, taking too long. So let's just get this thing washed into the garage so we can get on to the next step. And just like that, we've washed the outside of the car. Fuck, that looks good. So it's on to the next step, which is getting that checked, apparently, and then drying the car down. And if your car you can't get out of the, the backyard because it's too wet and you're spinning out, you're gonna have to pull it out. Now don't forget that if you've set yourself aside two beers for this job, it's probably just become three. Yeah, I'm not going to get through that. I need a D shackle. So as you can see, there's quite a few skid marks on the ground. Doesn't pay to do burnouts in your backyard when it's wet. Fill your mud, your tyres up with mud. Just after you wash the car. And what I'll have to do is give it another spray before we get into the garage. All I've got to do is just get that through there. Perfect, make a loop. Now the hardest thing about this is because it's on the other side's too far, I just don't want to damage the exhaust. I'm short. We all knew that already. So some people might use a snatch to get your um, to get you out of a sticky situation like this. But because I'm used to doing everything myself, I've got this manual motion going on here. Now I've just got to watch the exhaust. So basically what we're going to do is just skull drag the fucker out. We just need to pull it over this way. A bit. We want it to be able to reach to the other end so we can pull it that way. Skull drag the fucker. And this is how you clean your car. I don't think that's strong enough. It'll come off. Just a little bit. The average person has this tool at home, right? We might be re-washing this. Nice and gentle. I think I've got myself out of the rut. <laughs> or I might be in exactly the same position as I was to begin with. So what I've done, is try to heat up the mud so that it'll dry, making a nice dry dirt surface for us to just glide on out. It hasn't worked. I do have a cunning plan. Now, I'm gonna use the palm tree there and just pull it across, fuck it. This may or may not work. Oh, we've got a bit of, bit of space between that tree. Whose idea was it to film in the backyard? So it just goes to show that you can, in fact, unbog your car if you were to get it bogged in your backyard with just everyday tools that you've got lying around your house. That's the hot tip of today. Just gonna lower that down a little bit, just so it doesn't fail. Just pull it over a bit more. Really actually keen to get this out of here. Hose down that mud again. Start from the beginning. We will um, skip that bit. I reckon if I go hard down, we're driving out of here. What's that internet comments? Blocks, you say? 
pieces of wood, you say? You couldn't do this with stretched tyres, you'd just pull the bead right off. I think we can reach the other post. Rigging this up, I feel like Dennis Nedry in Jurassic Park, and there goes the dinosaur. The shit that I go through just to make videos for you guys. Handbrake on so it doesn't roll, I'd rather it just pull. Film in the backyard, he said. It'll be good, he said. He being me. Take that, MacGyver. Fuck, this is getting close. And just like that, we're ready to go and detail this car. Fuck, this has been fun. So we're back in the garage after what has been a fairly uneventful morning. The car has been washed, it's been dried with a big towel. So to remove the swell marks and everything that's left over from the machine buff after the paint job, what we're going to use is this Auto Glim product. Don't worry about the Queen seal of approval on there because it's got intake seal of approval and that's more important to you guys, the viewer. So what we've got is a super resin polish which will take out the scratches, the, the fine surface scratches that have come from the machine buffer. Then after that we've got this extra gloss protection which really makes your paint look super deep, especially on a black car like this, but you can use it on every colour car. We've got the car glass polish for our glass because we removed that tint the other day off the inside we can polish the inside and the outside of the tint then um, wash it down later on with a fast glass and lastly we've got the rapid aqua wax which is very difficult for me to say but that will um, go over all the surfaces paint and glass and leave uh, any rain or water that's going to come just to bead right off there so this is just to make the car look nice in the sun and it's going to look fucking awesome in here because this deep black paint, metallic paint, looks awesome. So today we are here to fuck spiders because apparently you guys love a good tape noise, a good comparison video. So what we're going to do is do what every other bastard does on the internet and tape right down the middle of our bonnet and do one side and so you can see what it looks like when beforezies and afteries. Fuck off that. This is going to be fun. I've never done one of these side-by-sides. Shake well before use. Always use clean cloths. If your cloth gets dirty, get rid of it. Oh, got a little bit excited there. Bit of um, pre-super resin polish. Pour a small well amount onto the polish applicator. This is the polish applicator. Apply a thin layer to the paintwork in overlapping circles, which I'm doing. Increase pressure over any marks, like water marks and whatnot. Allow to dry. Do not apply to unpainted rubber or plastic. That's been painted, I think. No, it's not been painted. All right. Let it dry. Buff with high-tech finishing cloth. I don't have any of those, but I do have this microfiber. <laughs> so the type of noises you hear at a porno when they're like making sandwiches and they get the mayo out. Oh, wax on, wax off. Except it's just polish, not wax. You know, the only bad thing about polishing your bonnet like this is I can see my reflection. It was not a good look. So you might be able to see a little bit of a difference now between the passenger side and the driver's side. Um, I certainly can see a bit more of a reflection of me in there. All right, once you're done with that, don't forget, new product, new cloth. Fuck that one off. We've got the uh, extra glass protection and I've got a new cloth. So this one's a bit harder to use because you're supposed to leave it to dry for 30 minutes. So we're going to cover the whole half of the bonnet and through the magic of television, we'll be able to fast forward. Now this one needs a good shake. But you do see a difference with this. This is like trying a layer of glass on there. We're gonna to have to leave it on for about half an hour or one beer, come back to it and polish it off. But it's gonna to be totally worth it. It's gonna make this black paint look so deep that you just wanna fall into it and never come back out. It's so inviting. I'm gonna put the lid on before I um, spray it all over the bonnet. So while we're waiting for the extra gloss protection to dry, Find yourself something entertaining to do for half an hour. Now I like to respond to your guys' as, uh, comments. Here's one from G Juicy. The intro gets me every time. Can you work on my car? Well, G Juicy, no, I can't. Now for the real magic. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to stand back and just stare at this for about 15 minutes straight. There must be something in their product department because everything smells nice. It's a good reflection. A little bit of orange peel in this paint though. But that could be a detailing episode for the future. For today, we just want it to look good. 
So step one, it says to use this on a wet car after you've washed it. But obviously our car's dry and I know this product is so good that it'll work it either way. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a spray and then just get it covering everything. Okay, so that has covered everything. A little bit of, oh. Now to take it all off. New cloth, obviously. And as per step five of the Rapid Aqua Wax, we have to stand back and admire. So what we'll do is peel that tape. Bloop. Fuck, there is a difference. Whew. Well, it smells really good too. Must be like a prerequisite for the queen. I shall use your products if they smell nice. So before I use my fast glass, I'm just gonna um, give the window glass a bit of a clean, a bit of a polish, I should say, with the glass polish. And it's pretty much the same as your paint polish. You put it on, polish it off. Wax on, wax off, Daniel son. But it's not wax, it's polish. This is good, it takes all the shit off the bottom there, doesn't it? And it smells nice also. Flip the cloth over for a good side. So you've seen what we're gonna to use to clean this car. You've, so we've given you a bit of an example on how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the entire thing and then come back to you when it's done. So that brings us to the closure of today's episode of Intake. As you can see, it was a fairly uneventful affair. Nothing bad happened, we washed a car. You guys asked for it, I delivered. So we're gonna go back and film next week's episode of Intake. If you don't wanna miss that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell that lets you know when we post something, you get a notification. I think there's an alert on your phone or an email. Really high tech stuff that I don't understand, but it lets you guys know when we put up a video. Um, comment below. Did you like this episode where I did nothing except for wash the car and it was boring and nothing bad happened at all? I want to hear your comments. What products do you use to clean your car? If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be? Goodbye. The fuck? You just... Is it good? Try this one, it doesn't taste very good. I know. <laughs>